Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Fortunate Creations. I'm Kim, and this is a channel where we talk about everything to do with crafting. So from amigurumi to weaving and anything in between, if you like a craft, chances are we're going to talk about it. So hang around and let's chat. So this is... That was a funny look on my face. Anyway, <laughs> this is another episode of Coffee with Kim. For those of you that are new, um, kind of just hang out every day talking about this and that, different crafts we're doing, what I'm up to, and uh, kind of like really just sitting in my living room having a cup of coffee. So welcome to Coffee with Kim. Before anything... I want to remind everybody, please go back and watch episode 30 of Coffee with Kim. Um, that is the one that has the details and the entry information for the mug of the month drawing. So I'm going to be closing that Wednesday and um, all of the entries will be entered in the drawing for your Be Creative Coffee with Kim mug. So please go to episode 30 and um, give a comment. All you have to do is tell me your coffee story. Do you love coffee? Do you not like coffee? What do you drink in the morning? What kind of coffee do you drink? Anything. As long as it has to do with coffee, you're in the drawing for the free mug. All right, so I had to actually write down everything because what I do is as I'm buzzing around the house, I start thinking of everything that I want to talk to you guys about. And then I get in here and I go off on some other tangent. And sorry, my cat and dog are fighting. Stuart, stop that. That's not nice. Fritz, come over here. Stuart's twice the size of Fritz. Anyway, so I get, <coughs> I need my daily agenda here. Um, I may have to step in. Stuart, that'll do. Go on. That'll do. Don't you hit him. All right, there we go. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Now Fritz is in here and the world is good. Okay, so I have my daily, my list of what I want to go over with you guys today. So daily agenda. Now that retirement is so nearby, I, I get it. I still have a couple weeks. In my brain, I'm already retired. So um, I said to myself, hmm so much is going on. I need to actually be able to get a routine, be able to relax, be able to sit still sometimes, you know, stuff like that. I can't always be running around starting this, starting that, da, 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 which is what I do. I'm sure there's a medical explanation for that. But anyway, so I made myself a daily agenda. So here, like on Sunday, now, mind you, it's not just for this channel. I have household stuff to do. I have Fortunate Creations, and I also have Fortunate Finds, which is my Etsy store and my Facebook page. So um, I have to make sure that I'm doing what I need to do every day. So each, there's seven rooms in this house, okay? So each day I do a specific room. So let's just do Monday, ready? So for Monday, I'm gonna clean out the refrigerator, make sure there's nothing living in the back that <laughs> we all know about that, or that random onion that's been in there since August. <laughs> we all know about that too, right? And then just do a um, deep clean of the kitchen. The floors, the cabinets, you know, all that stuff. Obviously you wipe it down every day, but once a week you should, <clears throat> I should wipe down, you know, everything that I can. And then for Fortunate Creations, obviously, um, Coffee with Kim, work on my actual work in progress. And then I want to do um, five swatches for my homage to Crystal. And then if something comes up and I'm like, okay, so tomorrow I have to, I write it down here. So for today, I'm going to actually email Juan the Yarn Addict and I'm going to offer him one of my survival kits as a raffle because he does raffles I'll see if he he wants one of those I think that might be nice by the way check him out he did a live last night and um he redid his his studio 
and one of the happy mail that I sent him is in there and it made me feel really happy. So I'm going to have to put a link to that. See, write it down. Link to one. Okay. So anyway, check him out. So I'm going to offer him one of those. And then for fortunate finds, I have to go on. Now, fortunate finds, in case you don't know, is kind of like a raffle site on Facebook. Um, so I put up four or five items. Each chance on the item is going to be like two to five dollars. Um, you get 10 to 20 chances, depending on the item. Everybody tells me how many they want, and it's a raffle. On Wednesday nights, I do the raffle. The winner gets the item. So you could get like a $50 item for, for $2, you know, or, and I'll, it's, it's a range of things. It could be anything. Well, I won't get into all that. I'll put a link to it down below. Hop on over, check it out. Um, there's, I mean, it's free to join and it's minimal to play and it's fun. So that's that. So I have my list of things I need to do each day. That's going to help me so that I'm not running in and being like, okay, I got to wash this. And da, da, da. I know that today it's the day to clean the kitchen. So obviously, I mean, every day you sweep and whatever, but these are the, the main things to make sure every room in the house gets its attention. And so that I don't look up one day and go, how long has it been since I cleaned that ceiling fan, <laughs> which I've done before. So anyway, that will keep me in line, in task for my retirement. Okay, so we're gonna cross this off. All right, so speaking of the homage to Crystal, I was working on my stitches this weekend. Okay, oh, I just dropped my hook in my coffee. That's awesome life happens. Anyway, take two. I was working on my um, swatches, okay, because I have them in my list. Every day I make five of them. So I was working on the silt stitch, and it's beautiful. It's um, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, and then you just line them up, and they're beautiful. Um, that's what it looks like. Really pretty, okay? So, of course, as my brain does, it can't just relax and do what I'm doing. It says, what if you take the silt stitch and alter it a little bit? So I did a half double extended single. And I came up with this. I don't know if it's already a stitch I haven't come across it yet, but it's really pretty. It's very similar to the silt stitch. And I mean, um, you could see that it's just a little airier. You know, the windows are a little bit bigger. You can see the difference here. This is the same number in the base row. So anyway, I think I made up a stitch. So again, my brain says, well, mark it as a mystery stitch and see, I did a short on it and I said, you know, does anybody know what this stitch is? A few people have said, you know, you didn't make a new stitch, you just combined two together. Well, a lot of these stitch patterns are two stitches combined together. So anyway, thank you for that. So sorry, I got something in my eye. So my mystery stitch here Again, my brain keeps on a going, keeps ticking. So I said, all right, <coughs> excuse me, what can I do with this stitch? Well, I absolutely love my ponchos. I wear them instead of sweaters. I wear them instead of sweatshirts. I love them. They flip them on, you're, <coughs> excuse me, oh my goodness, you are the first ones I've talked to this morning. <clears throat> so I do apologize for that. So I love my ponchos and I said to myself, why don't I take my mystery stitch and make myself a poncho using 
my favorite yarn from my mystery box that I got. So I am making myself a poncho and I'm going to call it my retirement poncho. So what I did was I'm gonna change the stitch with each color <clears throat> that comes in here. So here is my mystery stitch, okay? And then this is just double crochets. And then I'm going to do a thing of half double just as like a pull it together, tighten it up a little bit. And yeah, so I haven't figured out, but I figure each color is gonna be a different stitch. Maybe, I'm gonna see how they look. So I might look through the stitches I've learned so far and see if there's one or two, see if there's one or two that might fit in to my retirement poncho. Here's a nice one. Oh, <laughs> it's just the single crochet. Anyway, the mixed cluster is really pretty. So I'm going to look through my tutorials, <clears throat> excuse me, look through my learned stitches that I learned from tutorials and see if um, I can put them all in there. But of course I might change them a little, like, I don't know. If the stitch has a double crochet, I might do a half double. If it has single crochet, I might do the extended single. If it has a V stitch, I might do the triple V stitch. I don't know. So this is my new work in progress. I am making myself a retirement poncho. So that's that. Let me see what else is on my list to talk to you about. <clears throat> I am so sorry. I don't know what's going on with my throat. Usually it does this in the spring, in the fall. Lord knows it's not spring. So <laughs> in my coffee, I do one Splenda every day. Well, every cup. And it's just little zero calorie sweeteners. And I know people have, some people have really strong opinions on fake sweet sweeteners. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I don't, I like it. I like that it, gives me the sweetness I need with zero calories. So I like it. So I realized as I'm standing there mindlessly brewing the coffee and stirring the Splenda into it, on the back of the Splenda packets are messages. So I'm taking my inspiration <laughs> from Splenda. Yes, you can. Life is short, make it sweet. Here you go, this one. Create your own sunshine. And then you got this, be your best today. So I have to admit I am pulling inspiration from Splenda packets. Why not? It's a message from the universe. All right, it's a message from Splenda, but still. They're ending up in my coffee cup and I like it. So what I'm, I don't know. Am I going to save these? And I found this little birdhouse. Maybe, maybe I'll shingle it <laughs> with the saying. I don't know. Or maybe, oh, maybe they'll end up in a box somewhere or in the garbage. Who knows? I just thought that was funny. Sorry, I got to set that down there. My tree of stitches just fell over on me. So there we go. My inspiration. <laughs> uh, so I showed you yesterday my survival kit, my crochet survival kit. I showed you the, the mock-up of it. Well, I actually went ahead and made them, a couple of them. So this is ironed right on, kind of goes with my shirt, um, with all the stuff inside. And I have them up on my Etsy store because I had a few of you ask me, are you going to be putting these in your Etsy store? I said, yes, 
they said hurry up so and I went and I, I made up a few and I put them in the Etsy store so they are available also don't forget you can be entered in a drawing if you just follow the link of buy me a cup of coffee and comment on there I will put you in a drawing for a survival pack so that's another fun thing um, I just like to see I'm, I'm testing out, you know, I've been in marketing my whole life. So I'm testing out different ways of marketing. So I want to see in the description box, how many people actually look at the description box, how many people follow the links that are in there. So I'm testing each, each one to see if, do I put all the links in at once and hope that people see it? Looking for chapstick. Or do I, you know, figure out a different way? Right now I'm trying the I tell you about the links and then I put them in there and I see which ones work. Um, so I'm trying to see who follows the link and who doesn't and if there's different ways for me to link it. Can I say the word link again? <laughs> I know, I'm ridiculous. I can't take it. But I do have... Um, links to my Etsy store, my Facebook page, the Facebook page for um, Fortunate Creations, our group page. Anything I talk about on here, if you do it or if you, you know, want pictures of whatever, whatever you want to chat about on there, it's a fan page. Come on over. I'm trying to grow that a little bit, get more members. Um, so come on over and hang out. Plus, I'm going to put links to the Fortunate Finds. Um, lots of stuff going on. Lots and lots of stuff going on. So I think today is a holiday. Martin Luther King Day. Happy MLK Day. Um, so I'm going to go over to the Goodwill and see what I can find. Start my treasure hunt for the week. I did include treasure hunt in my daily agenda. So there's certain days like Tuesday the first Tuesday of every month is 50% off for seniors at the Salvation Army in my area. And in my defense, seniors only have to be 50. I hit that qualification. <clears throat> so, huh. all right. So I do have to film my homage to Crystal. If you see that one, I'm going to have the same shirt on because I'm literally going to film it right now after this so I can get to going on all my other things. I'm just trying to get in the groove. I've had some coffee. By the way, I'm a little more uppity today because I got up at my normal time, 2 a.m. I did a few things. I made a couple of those um, bags. And then all of a sudden I'm like, I feel like I could sleep a little bit. So I laid back down. And I didn't get up till seven. What? I feel like half the day is gone, 7 a.m. I sat up, the sun's out, and I'm like, what time is it? I didn't even hear Mr. Fortunate leave for work. That's how out I was. Fritz either, because he didn't move. I woke up, he was sound asleep, tucked right here. I'm laying on my side and he's just laying right there. That's my favorite part of the day, when he's tucked in there. He's so sweet. It is really funny how much a pet can add to your life. I love my cats. Um, Stuart's 15. He's laying right here on Fritz's bed. But anyway, I love my cats. I do. And they do funny stuff sometimes. But to me, a pet should be there to comfort you when you need it, to snuggle with you when you want it. For you to, I don't know, pets should be a relationship where you both love each other. And with our cats, I'm not sure that's true. I love them. We've had them both. I mean, Stuart is 15 and Willie, who you'll never see unless I just insert a picture. So maybe I'll insert a picture. 1950 Willie picture. You'll never see him. He's just too skittish. But anyway, 
I love them, but they're not the here, sit on my lap and let me pet you type. Um, Stuart, you can maybe scratch his head and then he'll turn around and tag you. Willie, if you even lean towards him, shoom, he's gone. So, but Fritz is the type of pet, he reads my emotions. Um, he just wants to be by me. And I love it. I love him. He's such a comfort. Now I know what an emotional support pet is. Because he is right there, every emotion. Like the other day before the shower, for some reason, I was randomly crying. I don't know. I can't explain it. But all of a sudden, I'm like, bleh. <clears throat> and Fritzy comes up and he just, he takes his little paw and he does this on my leg. And then he crawls up on my lap. He is, sorry, I'm playing with tape. He seriously is my best friend. He is always there. So that's what pets are about. That's what pets are for. And that's my little Fritzy. On that note, I'm going to let you go. Um, I have a ton of stuff to do today. So remember, please hit the subscribe button. Um, if you can, please watch my videos all the way through. Even if you just put me on in the background and go do something else, because um, YouTube uses that algorithm and that data to suggest me to other YouTubers. So the more hours watched, the more they're gonna put me out there. Um, so if you could watch to the end, I know sometimes it's painful, I get it, I'm sorry. Um, also share my links with whoever. If you know somebody, even if you just want to say, oh my God, this is Kim, we know her, check it out. You got to see what she's up to. I don't care. Just share it with as many people as you can. I love crafting. I love people. And as you can see, I love to talk. So the more people you share this with, the better. Better for me and I appreciate it. Don't forget all the links I'm going to put down in the description box. Please follow them. Check them out. Check out the pages in Facebook. I think you're going to like them. They're fun. That's it. Other than that, be creative and have a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow. See ya.